everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog this weekend because we are doing a little staycation in the Cotswolds. Um, it's been like a year since we were last here and we just love it so we thought we'd come away for a few days and we're actually here for four nights this time and we've got some really really nice things planned and um, so yeah i thought i would take you along with us um, but we've just pulled up um near to Bista village we're actually just in a pub car park whilst i finish off my makeup um, but yeah on today's agenda is shopping so hopefully we find some good bits um, I feel like you can't really plan ahead with Bista because you never really know what you're going to find. Um, but I did see some really nice Prada ballet flats on like another influencer's story the other day. So I'm hoping that they have those there in my size because I feel like they would be a really good addition to my spring wardrobe. Um, but other than that, I don't really have anything I particularly need. Um, are you looking for anything today? Yeah, some trousers, maybe some trainers. Oh, really? Do they have Birkenstocks here? I don't know. Probably. I'm He's obsessed with Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. You've been missing I'm on them. the Boston <laughs> ones. Mm. I don't, they won't have them there. Colour. No. No. I mean, they're difficult to get anyway, so you definitely won't get them at Vista. Unless no, right. they have like them full price. You know, some places have like new season stock. Fingers crossed. We'll see. So we have come to the apartment, which is kind of like like a lounge area at Vista and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like interior goals and um, everything is so like perfectly laid out. Um, they said they've got an Isabelle Moron like showcase or something. So we might go through and have a look at that. Um, and I've seen a little, little change room through here. So I'll show you my outfit in there in a second. But yeah, we just ordered some drinks and then I think we're gonna go for some lunch cause I'm getting pretty peckish now. I thought I would step into this room. I feel like it's like a like, personal shopping space maybe. Um, just to show you my outfit of the day. Um, really nice lighting in here as well. Um, but I'm wearing just a basic black vest top from Abercrombie. Um, I will have a discount code coming very soon. Probably in the next video. Um, but it's probably not the weather for this to be honest. It was like bright blue skies in Manchester. But weirdly when we've come down south it is grey and very windy. Um, but I do have my coat with me too um, and then this little cardigan is Massimo Duty. I am fully obsessed with Massimo Duty cardigans I think this is like my fourth one which is kind of embarrassing to admit but I literally just cannot resist them they are such nice quality this one's got these little details on the back I don't know if you can see really not showing that very well um, but it's really really well made and yeah I just feel like it really elevates an outfit um, and then my jeans are Zara mum jeans um, Celine belts as always um, M&S ballet flats and my Demelia bag so first up is for some lunch we've come to farm shop um, which is by like Soho House I think um, but we just ordered a few starters to share because we couldn't decide so we've got the Scott egg um, these are smoked mozzarella croquettes um, prawns fries and some bread and olives looks so nice I'm trying my first Eastern Standard with gin delicious just in YSL and they've got these really nice bags pretty sure this is a new season as well so just trying the bag on it is one Nine three five. Yeah. They are full price, like two thousand five hundred online. Just in Celine, and I think this little heart bag is adorable. Um, it is eight seven seven. So cute. Yeah, they're nice. Do they fit all right? Do they fit? When you're tiny, they get big, but the 35 are too small. Maybe yeah, they're they're better off size. going bigger than smaller, right? Well, yeah. If I put an insole in them, maybe. Yeah. I feel like this is what my wardrobe is doing. So I've got my loafers, but sometimes they're a bit much. You know if I'm wearing like a gold fat. And the half price as well, right? Yeah, 330. 
just in Soho Home and they have so many nice bits. We're obsessed with these um, like flutes and they've got like matching wine glasses. Are they the same ones we've got over there? No. no. They're not as like tumbled, like rustic. They're more square as well. Ones. Um, but I love this green crockery set, is that what it's called? And then I think we're gonna get some of these little espresso cups. They are eight pounds and I just love the detail on that. Love this little like side table stroke drinks trolley thing. Um, and also really like this decanter. Decanter, is that what we're calling it? Yeah, that's what I call it. But we don't really drink spirits like that, do we? No. You don't like whiskey anymore, do you? No. It's so cute. Coupes. Is that what they're called? Coupes. Coupes, yeah. are all done at Bista. Um, I'd say that was pretty successful, would you? Yeah, yeah, it was good. I didn't overspend. I kind of got what I went for. I got the Prada Ballet Flat, <laughs> Prada Ballet Flats. So I will show you those when we get to the hotel. Um, other than that, I just got, well, I got quite a few bits in Soho Home. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you those because it's all like taped up. Um, so I might have to wait until I'm back in Manchester to show you that stuff. But they had an extra 20% off or like their like tableware, I think that's what they call it. Um, so that was pretty good. Um, I did see a few other things I liked, like in Manolo, there were some really nice like baby blue Hangisi sling backs which I probably would have got if they'd had my size. Um, I'm going to a wedding in Italy in the summer and I've ordered a dress. Um, I haven't actually tried it on yet, but it is baby blue. So I'm thinking they would be so nice together, um, but it wasn't meant to be because they didn't have my size. Um, there was also a really nice book tote in Dior. Um, I don't know if the book tote's a bit done now though. Um, it wasn't like one of the traditional ones with like the pattern. It was really nice. I did get a little clip of it, so I'll insert that. Um, but to be honest, for a lot of the clips I did get, I'm probably just going to have to do a voiceover because every time I was speaking to my camera, people kept coming over and telling me to stop filming. So yeah, um, we just got a coffee from Ralph's. Um, nice, but very overpriced. It was like £10 for two coffees. Maybe that is a norm down south then. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've been rambling on for about 25 minutes here. So we're going to head to the hotel now. Um, we're doing one night in a hotel and then we're moving to an Airbnb for the other three nights. So yeah, I will catch up with you once we get there. to our room at the Fox at Oddington and it is absolutely beautiful. It's literally all the interior inspo I could possibly want. Um, we've got this little sitting area when we come in. Look at the exposed beams. Um, and then through here is our bathroom. Look at that tub. Definitely going to be running a bath later. I'm not really a bath person, but at the flat we don't have one, so it makes me really miss them. So I'll definitely be taking advantage of that. Um, and then gorgeous shower. Look at those tiles. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Um, and then a little sink area. We've got a like tea and coffee bit here, espresso machine. Um, bookshelf that's very cute and then through here is the coziest of all bedrooms and um, again with the exposed beams and like this beautiful like oxblood color everywhere and um, look at these cushions wow they are gorgeous looks like such a comfortable bed as well literally cannot wait to get into that later we were planning to go out 
for tea to a different pub but we've decided we are super tired so we just want to have a night in and um, get an early night so we've come down to the restaurant at the hotel um, we've got a cheesy garlic bread to start and um, they do like a pizza menu on Thursdays so yeah I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for a pizza now you know oh, yeah. they look really good as well they do look good um, I've got a French 25 Aidan's got a Negroni cheers hey happy holidays that does look really nice it looks very fresh yeah that's kind of why I wanted it to be Good morning. Um, you're going to have to excuse what I look like today. Um, I'm very much fresh faced because I am having a spa day today. Um, we've got up bright and early and come to Dalesford. Um, the hotel that we were staying at is actually owned by the same people. Um, so it's only five minutes away. But Aidan has a cooking class here today, which he has already gone in for. Um, and I'm having a solo spa day, which will be so wholesome. Um, but I've got about an hour until I've booked in for, I'm using like the pool and like the sauna and steam room first um, and then I have a massage later on um, but I think I'm just going to go and have a little wander around Dalesford um, and then head to the spa. Um, but we had such a nice night last night, um, very chilled, we just went down and had some pizzas in the restaurant, oh a sausage dog, a cream one sorry seen so many sausage dogs since i've been here it's so great i've missed wally so much and um, we couldn't bring him because where we're staying well the airbnb that we're staying at isn't dog friendly and to be honest he gets a little bit overwhelmed when we take him away and um, he is a typical sausage dog and a definite barker if you know you know um but yeah we had such a nice evening um very chilled we just got into bed pretty early and watched some netflix on the laptop um, and yeah, really looking forward to today. Um, I'm not sure how much I will be able to film, um, but I'll try and get some clips even if it's just on my phone. just got back from Dalesford and we've checked in to our Airbnb where we are staying for the next three nights. Um, honestly, I think this could be, well, definitely one of the best Airbnbs I've ever stayed in. It is absolutely beautiful and it's even nicer than the photos. I just can't get over it. Um, so we've got these exposed beams. We can't, we're on the second floor um, of like a converted barn. Um, but yeah, it's just so gorgeous with the beams and the height of the ceilings is mad. Um, so you come upstairs and you've got a kitchen here 
gorgeous like sagey green color here is my dalesford loot and uh, i was just taking a picture of it because went a little bit wild i will definitely do a um what i bought in a second um and then a cute little dining table love this with the sofa and then this what would you call that like a sideboard behind um really really nice they've got vogue magazines everywhere um, and then here is like the living room area. I love that it's all like open plan. It's just a dream. Um, so sofa, coffee table. You've got a stove over here. We'll definitely get the fire on later. Um, TV. Just a dream. Um, I found this place through um, another influencer, Lauren Grace. Um, I will leave her YouTube channel below because I love her content so much. It's all very like wholesome and chilled vibes. And then through here is the bedroom. How beautiful is that bed? And these cushions again, a dream. I'm just getting so much inspo. Like this would be like my ideal um, style of of home like I just love anything like countryside rustic farmhouse so definitely manifesting a home like this in the future okay Dalesford Hall time and um, just got changed into um, like a really comfy dress because we are staying in tonight um, we're just gonna have an evening in with all the food that we've bought and um, probably just get an early night and watch some Netflix so that will be lovely um, but I will show you what we got because there is a fair amount right so we're gonna do like a charcuterie board vibes so we got some of the um, ham on Iberico ham on Iberico I don't know uh, these crisps I personally prefer the black truffle ones, but Aiden likes these ones. So we went for those. Carissa olives, I thought these sounded interesting. Walnut, honey, and olive oil crackers for the cheese. Kalamata olive hummus. I'm not the most adventurous when it comes to cheese. So I got this, how would you say that? Gloucester. Oh, Gloucester, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Gloucester cheese. Um, I wish I think it's like a cheddar, but there wasn't like loads there, so we might nip out and get a couple more cheeses shortly. Obviously, I had to get a loaf of sourdough. Got about four different varieties of salami, organic fig, and balsamic chutney. I thought that sounded really interesting, so I'm excited to try that. Cornichons because I am obsessed with pickles, cornichons, anything like that. Got some pad thai honey dressing for my salad at home and um, i've had this before and it's really delicious Aiden <laughs> wanted to try forced rhubarb no idea what we're gonna do with this but we got some anyway strawberry and rhubarb yogurt i'll definitely have some of this for breakfast tomorrow because it sounds really good oh we've got granola here as well and then we got a fair few bottles of wine um we got the leo red to try because we've never had this before um, but that rosé is really good um, and then we also got the sparkling rosé, which I had this time last year when we were in the Cotswolds, and it was delicious. They have a little wine shop there now as well, so we got this bottle of muscadet to try and that was the last of the food stuff but then i did get a couple of other things as well um, i got aiden's mum and dad a fig leaf hand wash and hand lotion for looking after wally I did also get them a bottle of wine as well um and then oh i got some supplements these are like a women's health like daily essential um, I thought I'd give them a try because I don't currently take any. Um, and then I got a Bamford sugar scrub. Um, this was way more expensive than I was expecting it to be. It was £40 in the end, so that is fairly pricey. Hopefully it is good. Um, and then I got the Bamford nurturing face oil, which was recommended to me during my facial, um, which was so nice, by the way. Um, it was actually a massage, but then she did a facial within it. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Um, so I had a very relaxing and very zen day um aiden obviously did his cooking course which he really enjoyed um, and that's why we got so much stuff because when you do a cooking course at dalesford you get a 25 percent off voucher <laughs> up with 
with very little cheese because we've decided we can't be bothered going back out. Um, but that's okay. Um, this is quite nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Um, but we've got a lot of salami. That's not all of it. We've got like two more over there as well. These olives, we've got bread, we've got candles, we've got all the vibes. Um, and we've olive opened... Oil. Oh, what yeah. Kalamata... Kalamata olive. olive. Hummus? Yeah. That looks really good. Um, and then we've cracked open the sparkling rosé. So yeah, cute night in. Good morning. I'm uh, just about ready to go out now. Uh, so I thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing, although you actually can't really see me. Um, but I've got on a white bodysuit from Because of Alice. Um, a jumper from Mango. Um, this I have in a size extra large. Um, if it's still available, I will leave it linked. I'm not sure if it will be because I've had it quite a while. Um, but these kind of jumpers with the half zip, I would generally recommend sizing up in. Um, I just feel like they look a little bit nicer, like being quite slouchy. Um, I feel like it's quite long on the arms, but I've just um, rolled it up once, so yeah, I just feel like that looks fine. Um, and then my trousers are Abercrombie, um, these are the 90s straight, um, and then I've got on like my Converse, and I thought I would show you my coat because this is new. Um, my next video is going to be a haul, by the way, um, so you will see this in better detail then. Um, but it's from Cos, and it's the most gorgeous trench coat. Um, a really nice like pale beige colour and I feel like it's quite a dressy style. Um, the fabric is amazing as well. It's like a really thick, oh, I've got the plastic on it. That's a bit embarrassing because I've worn it out. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really long, really thick, gorgeous shape. Um, just obsessed with it. But yeah, you will see that in better detail in next week's video. Um, but we're just heading out now. We're going to go antique shopping, I think. And then we're going for lunch. Um, and then this afternoon, I think we're going to go to a couple of like the cute little villages. And then I actually have a facial later on. So yeah, proper self-care weekend. Got my Demelia London bag with me as well. Um, but yeah, we need to leave now because as usual, I am running late. <laughs> facial this afternoon um, I went to the Teresa Tarmi clinic in the Cotswolds which opened I think she said in January um, but Teresa Tarmi is like a really famous facialist um, they've got a clinic in Notting Hill so um, I heard again from another influencer Josie um, that they had opened a clinic in the Cotswolds so I thought I would book myself in and honestly it was such a good facial um, it wasn't like a super like relaxing one but I prefer the ones which are more kind of like about the results um, so she did a um, like double cleanse and then we did a peel, like a lactic acid peel. Um, we did LED light therapy and um, she did some like extractions and also some cryotherapy as well. Um, so it was really, really good. Um, we're now going out for dinner though and um, she said not to wear any makeup. So I've got concealer under my eyes and mascara and that is it. Um, which feels kind of weird, I won't lie. I'm not one of those like clear skin girlies that go out without any makeup on. Um, so this is kind of weird for me, but where we're going is a very chilled vibes anyway, so it'll be fine. Um, we're going to a pub that we've been to before. Um, it had really good food last time, so we thought we'd go again. Um, and this is my outfit. Pretty chilled, to be honest. Um, my top is pretty lavish. My jeans are Zara. Um, my Celine belt, I've got my Charles and Keith bag, and then just some heeled boots. Uh, I do have this jacket from Mango as well, which I think I'm just going to like 
fling over. Oh, no, I actually undone it. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna fling this over my shoulders. That looks quite cute. <laughs> sunny sunday today and aiden has kindly made us some breakfast whilst i've been getting ready um our airbnb host left some like sausages bacon eggs and bread um for us which was really nice so we've just cooked that up and then we're gonna have a really wholesome day and go on a walk shortly so we're just out on a little walk to the next village um we're gonna see whether we can get either a coffee or an alcoholic drink I'm not sure but yeah the plan is just to have a walk around take in the scenery um it's such a nice day today and then later on at like three-ish we're going for a roast um i'm not actually shown have i spoken about my camera no i don't think so i've got a new camera guys i'm a professional um i'm absolutely winging it i don't know what i'm doing with it <laughs> <laughs> i'm shit aren't i no well the camera's quite good so yeah i feel like the camera makes us who are definite amateurs look like we kind of know what we're doing um, yeah. but i'm gonna be filming my sit down youtube videos on this i think um so hopefully the quality of my video should be getting better from now on i'm still gonna use my vlogging camera for vlogs and stuff um but yeah we thought why not like it's time we just i'm getting a bit bored with my content at the minute aren't i yeah um i've been stuck in a rut so. and i'm having a lot of fun learning about it as yeah, well yeah it is fun isn't it we've got a lot of learning to do but you're gonna step up your insta hobby games aren't you? <laughs> yeah we'll see so do you think this is like an old one yeah this is an old one but it's definitely had a reason the color is a dream isn't it yeah, how cute is it here he is oh don't fall into the bloody fence but we've um so we're in the, this is great chew now isn't it yeah. so this village is called great chew um, there's a little pub, there's a really nice um, coffee shop. We got some croissants from there yesterday. Um, just all the wholesome vibes, to be honest. I absolutely love it in the Cotswolds. <laughs> guys it's now monday and we have checked out of our airbnb um we've come to a village called lower slaughter um we haven't really done many of the villages this time have we no we did do them last what have time we done this time we went to the what great chew all oh, right yeah that's basically it isn't it yeah we, we did, did a lot antiques of antiques and stuff but that was yeah. really going around it's been a very, very chilled weekend, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been so lovely though, we've literally had the best time. Um, but we thought before we head home, we would come and do one of the villages we haven't done before. Um, so yeah, we've come to Upper Slaughter and we'll see what it's about. I think there's like a stream, so we might have a walk down there. The sun has literally just come out as well. It's quite a cloudy day today though. Um, but yeah, we've had literally the nicest weekend. Last night, again, was just like a really chilled one. Um, we obviously went for our roast and then we went to another pub for a couple of drinks and then we just literally chilled in the Airbnb. We didn't want to leave this morning, did no, we? No, we didn't. Started to feel like a home away from home. <laughs> <laughs> so i would highly highly recommend i will leave the airbnb below um mark who is the host actually has i think three properties two or three um so we will definitely go back and stay there again it was so nice and we kept saying how nice it would be to stay there in the summer didn't we yeah we need to come back in the summer if we can yeah for sure 
so the weather it really can't make up its mind because when it goes sunny you know it's raining um, but it's so cute around here we're just having a little walk along the stream uh, it's a Monday so it's really really quiet as well but it would have been nice yesterday wouldn't it in the sun yeah super cute like imagine living in one of these houses everything's oh, sage no, green as well house. yeah I know I've not seen many for sale otherwise I would have definitely been nosy and had a look oh look how cute that is yeah, you wouldn't, you'd pass this down to your family or something. Yeah, yeah you, you wouldn't sell it. it. We used to power some kind of machinery. Still, or? Not anymore, no. For like making what? Well, in order to put power in it, the water needs to be directed onto it. We need to spin and that's the rotation. Of it. Yeah, but what would it be powering? Well, some kind of, in Manchester it would be some kind of textiles. Yeah. Machinery, what? Oh my god, I don't know here, maybe it's something to do with the water process and water. Mm. Wow. Are you going to get pastries or are you going to get a sandwich? Well, what? Depends what they've got. They've got a pork pie. <laughs> you and that bloody pork pie. Really? It's Dalesford for you. Hello friends, so we've been back home from the Cotswolds for a couple of days now and I realised I didn't actually end up showing you Wally, can we not? I didn't end up showing you the bits I picked up from Bista Village so I thought I would come on and show you those now um, so as I mentioned I did pick up the um, ballet flats from Prada so um, here we are oh I have already had them out of the packaging but I am yet to wear them um, so these are what they look like um, I went for my usual size in these which is a size 3 um, I would say they come up a little bit big um, but I tried the two on and they were way too small and they didn't have the two and a half. Um, so I think I'll just pop an insole in these. Um, but to be honest, they weren't falling off my feet or anything. Um, but yeah, they are just a classic ballet shoe style. Um, obviously leather and then they've got the patent toe um, with the little Prada detail here, which I just think is so cute. Um, obviously ballet flats are a huge trend this season, but I'd say these are a pretty classic style. Uh, I know I'm going to definitely get the wear out of these throughout spring um, and like I said I felt like I was missing a good pair of like black flats in my wardrobe and um, I've got my loafers but sometimes I think when I'm wearing like a gold belt and if my bag has like gold hardware on it as well then it can look a little bit much and um, so I think these are going to slot perfectly into my wardrobe and um, they were £330 for reference um, and I believe they were half price so they were 660 full price okay just had to change my battery there but the only other bits i picked up from bista were like homeware bits um so i did make a few purchases in soho home and um, they had pretty good discounts on in there because they were doing an extra 20 percent off um all the like tableware bits um, sorry if you can hear that beeping by the way, it is our fire alarm, the battery needs changing so it's just kind of become background noise to me now but if it is annoying then I do apologise. Um, but yeah, I've got my receipts here so I can show you um, the prices. Um, so the first thing I picked up is one of the diffuser sets. Um, this one is Fig Verde. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but it's like a stone diffuser like base thing. Um, and then you have the fragrance in this little bottle here. Um, and then obviously the like sticks. Um, I'll try and get it out and show you. There you go. So you can see it better there. Um, but it's just got the like gold detail here. And then it's this like really nice like stone effect. Um, very very heavy as well and then I did also pick up a few tableware bits 
Um, I feel like my toxic trait is buying like plates and bowls and vases and all those kind of things um, despite not even owning a house or being close to owning a house. Um, I've definitely run out of surfaces to put vases on long ago but yeah I still continue to buy them um, but one day I feel like it will all be worth it. Um, so the first things I picked up are four of these pasta bowls. Um, I loved this like leaf detail around the edge of these and they are really like rustic looking they're all a little bit like irregular shaped and I love the colour as we all know I am a big fan of sage green um, and I feel like these will make the perfect summer pasta bowls um, especially on like an outdoor table or something like that I feel like these would be just a dream um, so I picked up four of those like I said and they were 40 pounds with the extra 20% off um, I think full price they were around 120 pounds or something like that um, so there was definitely a good discount on those and then I also bought the matching serving bowl which I thought will be perfect for like summer salads um, this originally was 95 pounds but I paid 28 pound for this which I thought was pretty good um, but I did see that they do still have these pieces on Soho Home website and they are in the sale so I will leave them linked um, and then the final thing I picked up in that like range was this jug and um, I don't know whether I'll use this for like water or as a vase but I thought this was so pretty um, and I just love the colour of these pieces so I'm excited to use them um, and then I also got some of these well I got two of these little espresso cups with the saucers and um, I thought these were really cute and I liked the detail um, I think these were, yeah, they were eight, uh, were they? Yeah, they were eight pounds each. Um, and then I also got the matching sugar dish, which I think we're actually going to use for our rock salt. Um, this was eight pounds two. Um, and is that it? Oh, I was going to show you this that I picked up from the antiques shop. Um, it's just this really nice, like, textured vase. Um, I think it said it was, like, a French country rustic vase or something. Um, but this, I think, was about £36. Um, so, yeah, that was everything I picked up. I have a feeling this vlog is going to be really long, so I'm going to end it here. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this one. It was very much a wholesome weekend away. We really did have the best time. So I hope you enjoyed um, like coming along with us. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Next video is going to be a spring haul, which I am really excited about. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. And I will see you in the next one.